Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you another time in this class. In this tutorial, I want to speak about proportional hazards assumption in Cox. What? Why to check about these assumptions? I guess that half of the studies about survival needs to fit Cox model and Cox has an important and vital assumptions named pH or proportional hazards. The Cox model assumes that the hazard ratio for, to, for comparing any two specification of predictors is constant over time and these assumptions need to be checked to run Cox model. But how to check pH assumptions? In a book named Survival Analysis by David Klimbaum explained that there is a two way to check pH assumptions. One is a graphical method and another is goodness of fit test. Now, in this class, I want to check these assumptions with two methods in a state statistical program. Okay, I'm Dr. Shamir Zalu, PhD in biostatistics, and I'm a freelancer. It's more than six years old that I receive uh, student uh, projects, uh, paper and thesis projects in different statistical programs and the right reports. Now, come on, I'm done class. Okay, dear friends, to start tutorial, we need a data set. I will review different data sets and select one of data set in book survival analysis, Clean Boom. It's uh, add its data sets, uh, this data sets, uh, this data sets uh, has uh, 238 records and it's about uh, addict patients and uh, survival times in days of heroin addicts from entry to a clinic until departures. We have some variables, for example, the ID of a subject clinic as one or two, a status of patients zero for uh, censored and one equal endpoint or treated, and survival time in days from entry to departure from clinic and prison history as a yes or no and method and dose is uh, our variables. This data set has uh, 238 records and you can download this data set from this website or send a message in YouTube to uh, answer uh, and send a data set for you. Okay, now we need to go to a Stata program and uh, import data sets, okay? and I uh, produce and provide a, a do file to run pH assumptions. Okay, <clears throat> now we need to go to file, click on import and click on SPSS data because I download the data sets as SPSS data sets. Click on browse, click on addicts and click on okay. Now we can review our data sets. This is my data sets, clinic, status, surgery, prison, and details. Okay, now in the first step, we need to introduce our data sets as uh, survival data sets. Then we need to copy this data set. Copy this data sets. Uh, in this uh, code, I write ST set, means a survival time set. Survey and failure equal status name of uh, status uh, 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 variable and equal equal one equal equal one. Now I click enters and uh, now I see that Stata reports that you have 238 total observations and 150 failures. Okay, in the in the next steps we need to. Uh, Fit a Cox model, similar to this, you need to uh, copy or uh, write this code, SD Cox, and only import your covariates, okay? But to check pH assumptions, 
uh, we uh, have uh, two uh, step. In first step, I speak about uh, graphical ways. But in graphical ways, we have some steps. For example, in first step, uh, we need to uh, plot log minus log survival time. Uh, and in the second step, we need to uh, plot log minus log survival time adjusted to prison and dose. In other words, uh, in this step, I want to uh, have a plot adjusted to some uh, covariates. And in third step, I want to plot observed versus predicted plots. Okay, dear friends, uh, in the first step of graphical methods, we need to copy these codes, or right? STPH plot uh, by clinic means uh, covariates. Uh, you want to have a plot above this and then write none. Negative or non-negative means that log minus log. Uh, SAT not minus log minus log SAT it's different from each others and finally you can write this uh, phrase or uh, not if you add no uh, ln times mean you need that in x axis you want to have a survival time not ln or log survival times click enters this is our plots ln minus ln survival probability and in x-axis we have analysis time means survival times and this is plots we see that uh, lines are parallel in early of study but uh, not parallel in the end of study it, it indicates that maybe pH assumptions for clinic violated but if you want to plot uh, in x-axis ln analysis time you need to write as this means no ln time means you need to remove these words click enters and now we see that in x axis we have ln analysis times and now uh, it's similar to uh, the last uh, plots and it's not different in the first uh, um, parts of a uh, study we have a parallel but in the last we see that uh, it's not parallel but in second steps of graphical methods we need to uh, check pH assumptions for clinic, uh, clinic adjusted for prison and dose. Now, you need to write these words. STPH plot strata to clinic and adjusted for prison and dose. Okay, click enters. And now this is our uh plot ph plots and it's similar to the last but it's better than because we have a, a, an a, an adjustment about the prison and the dose and it uh, <clears throat> it's better and it's informative about the ph assumptions but uh, in the second steps we need to plot observed versus predicted it's another method to check ph assumptions but how to write this codes you need to uh, use uh, st cox K km means kaplan mayer uh, methods uh, to uh, plot about the expected versus predicted uh, observed versus predicted uh, data sets by clinic now i see okay this is a, a informative um, graphical method to check about pH assumptions and now we see that for clinic one line b blue line and a green line is uh, very parallel from early to the end of this study but for clinic two it's not parallel for some times for example in middle of these studies and in last of these studies maybe uh, pH assumptions uh, uh, is violated for uh, clinic but 
all of these methods is subjective maybe uh, in other words it means that for me uh, two lines is parallel but for another person two lines is not parallel Then we need a, a test to check about pH assumptions. Then uh, Kleinbaum in survival analysis book introduced another method named the goodness of fit test that use Schoenfeld residuals. That use Schoenfeld residuals. Phrase of these residuals is similar to these. And now you need to use these codes. Then I copy copy these codes ST Cox clinic prison dose and Schoenfeld in parentheses the name of Schoenfeld and then write scale scaled SCH and in parentheses named uh, assigned to this uh, Schoenfeld residuals click in terms and now <coughs> We see that uh, state or statistical program, programs uh, reports a table, but uh, in another step, we need to write uh, these uh, codes to uh, report uh, results of uh, uh, pH assumptions. STPH test rank details. Click enter. Now we see that for uh, clinic, for clinic, the uh, covariates. Uh, uh, we have a violation of we have a violation of pH assumptions, but for prison and those uh, we uh, have a, a pH assumptions, and in totals a global test indicated that for at least one of covariates the pH assumptions is violated, and uh, for my study it's uh, clinic uh, covariates, and in another steps uh, we can uh, have a plot about uh, the positions Schoenfeld residuals for clinic uh, and uh, in this uh, steps we needed to write STPH test rank plot and in parentheses name of uh, covariates to be used click enters and in this um, plot uh, titled test of pH assumptions and we have some dots <coughs> and one line this line is about uh, Schoenfeld residual positions and if you have a straight a straight and horizontal a straight and horizontal line from early to to the end of this study uh, you can uh, assume that your pH assumptions are uh, not violated and is assumed but uh, in this study I uh, see that uh, this line uh, is not horizontal a little because in the last of this study uh, we have we see that uh, this line is a downwards this line is downwards and uh, similar and in correspondence to pH uh, test with Schoenfeld residuals we can conclude that uh, pH assumptions for clinic is not assumed and is uh, it's uh, violated from uh, assumptions of okay dear friends but the last question is that when we have violation about pH assumptions, at least for one covariate, what's the right statistical analysis to use? In a survival analysis book by Kleinbaum explained that there is two methods. One is a stratified Cox model that I created and uploaded a video about this method in YouTube channel and I add cards of this a tutorial at top of this page and another is a extended Cox model or Cox model with time varying covariates that I'll try to create and upload a video about these methods but uh, at the end I want to say that I'm a freelancer and if you are uh, students or teachers and have a statistical projects for example class project thesis and paper you can send me 
uh, from communication with uh, WhatsApp, Telegram, YouTube, or or uh, Instagram, and I receive, uh, check and survey your request and write you uh, conditions to do that. But until the next tutorials, see you later.